This episode is sponsored by Gamergy, the gaming energy drink made by gamers for gamers. Check it out in four great flavors, Purple Nurple, Red Alert, Binary Blue, and Epic Green. Alright guys, we are here at DBQCon. My dogs are barking. So, Celine Loomis has allowed me to sit with her to do this interview. Normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm barefoot today. Uh, as per Yokozuna WWF, so... But, uh... We are here at DBQCon. It is day one, and are you enjoying yourself so far? Very much so. All right, well, let's get right into it. I went all over Facebook. I like to think I'm very, you know, I, I like to think I do my research very well. So, um, I found that your first ever cosplay was Belle from Beauty and the Beast during grade school. How did that come about at such a young age? Um, well... To be honest, uh, I lived in kind of a town where there was no girls, there was only boys, so I would play dress up all the time. <laughs> so pretty much, I, any chance I got, I'd wear a costume. Any chance. A lot of broken hearts in that town. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, would you say that starting at such a young age gave you some confidence and reassur reassurance, or maybe the complete opposite? Well, um... When I was younger, I was actually really shy. Okay. I was really shy, and um, as I got older, I started branching out, and just cosplay helped me with that. It helped me open up and become me. Okay, well, um, I got some pictures here that I would love to show you, because, I, like I said, I do my research. <laughs> How did you enjoy meeting Roxy the Rancor? <laughs> I was really excited. Where did you big. Where did you meet him at? Um, I met him in Jacksonville, Florida. He actually came to Iowa for a Wizard World event. So I I'm a huge Star Wars fan. So seeing Roxy, oh, I was so happy. So, <laughs> but uh, I mean, you look terrified there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and if it's okay, we'll put this picture up so everyone can yeah. see it. Yeah. I mean, it's a good thing you have your Jedi friend there protecting you. Is that is that a friend of yours? Um, I actually, I love Star Wars, and he was the only Jedi there, and I ran over and tackle hugged him. <laughs> we like immediately became friends. Well, that's fantastic. So we gotta go back here real quick. So, um, uh oh, there we go. So, uh, have you had the pleasure of meeting anybody who does maybe any of the voice acting or has done the live-action version of a cosplay you've done in the past? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I worked with Pedro here, the voice of Belle. Well, that is awesome! Like, the animated... Yeah. That is so awesome! Well, that, that trumps anything I had. <laughs> you know, because I don't have anyone that I've cosplayed personally, so... I also met uh, Victor, the voice of Edward Elric. <laughs> Which you didn't find that one, but there's a photo with me and him, and he's like hugging Jelly! Me. Jelly! I'm going to jelly school! Jelly school! <laughs> I'm going! Oh, that, that is awesome! Charming. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. So, um, what are some of your favorite, least favorite characters you've done in the past? One of my favorite ones was um, probably Nebula. My top favorite is is my Ariel because I got both of them. <laughs> I've got I've got Ariel and I've got Nebula. Yeah. Like I said, research I do it. <laughs> so what what did you like so much about Nebula? She was technically a villain, and I got to play a villain. You know, villains are awesome, aren't they? Because we get to just escape that whole moral be, you know, that whole moral be bull crap and just get to cut loose and have a little fun. But, um, so how many cosplays have you done to date? Oh, <laughs> the ones that aren't documented, that, that kind of makes it a little bit harder. But, um, let's see. At least 15 to 20. <laughs> That's way more than me. I'm like on like seven, so, but, <laughs> so, um, could you take us through the process of like, what is your process for picking, choosing, and 
w starting working on and then finishing a cosplay? Well, picking, I pretty much go, oh, I want to do that. You have ooh syndrome. <laughs> That's actually my next question. Do you have like a certain genre you like to cosplay or do you have what I like to call ooh syndrome? So. It depends on my mood. Like, sometimes I'll be like, you know what? Spontaneous, I kind of want to do that. No one does that, I want to do it. That's kind of like what I like to do. Like, um, so, I know cosplay is all about escaping, you know, and doing what you want. I like to stick to my body type because it just makes me feel comfortable. So, I mean, I'll be in Snorlax tomorrow from Pokemon. I made it that my made it myself. I am so tired of you people telling me that I did not make that outfit. I made it. I did not buy it. I made it. I'll show you every day tomorrow. But everyone thinks I, I bought that costume. I mean, my wife and I made it. So, but that's why I'm also doing Yokozuna from WWF Wrestling. I'm actually working on Kingpin right now. Oh, I love Kingpin. The, the jacket's the hardest thing though. Finding that white double-breasted jacket is so hard. Um, so cosplay has made its way to be almost mainstream nowadays. Like with shows like uh, Heroes of Cosplay, Cosplay Melee, and you know, just it being normal now to go to a uh, cost uh, comic book convention. We'll learn how to talk here. <laughs> so um, if you ever had the opportunity, would you ever go among Heroes of Cosplay or Cosplay Melee? Yeah, yeah. I don't see why not. It well, could be fun. What, you, can't, you can't go live. You can't live unless you try, right? Yes. Yeah. Um. So, what's it like being invited to DBQCon or events like this, to being able to show off your amazing work here and just inspire people? Um. It's it's hard to put in words actually because I mean, when you put so much effort into a cosplay and then you get to show it off and the people are like, oh wow, look at that. You know, it just, it hits home and it makes you feel really happy about your work. You put, you put so much work into it and it makes it feel like it's worth it. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a little, uh, little sneak peek at my costume here. So, Yokozuna wears red tights, you know, right here, <laughs> but he also wears a mawashi, which best way to explain it is sumo diaper. <laughs> I was unable to get that done, and I just felt horrible, you know, yeah. because you actually have to have like 20 yards of fabric, and you have to wrap it. It's ridiculous. It, and seeing all these people stop me and go, can I get a picture with you? It just validates. It makes me feel amazing. I, I feel like I've done a good job, you know, so I, I, I see what you mean there. Um, but uh, let's use our imagination here, okay? okay? So I got a bucket here. It's a bucket full of money. Okay. And all the skills in the world that you need. Okay. What is your dream cosplay? My dream cosplay? That's kind of a tough one. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of the most intricate one that I could do. Cue up Jeopardy music. I would say a full-on Jack Sparrow outfit, but I want my own ship. Well, I didn't say how big of a bucket, so <laughs> I guess, I mean, I did, I mean, specify. shoot for the stars. Uh, <laughs> so what does cosplay mean to you? Cosplay means you can be oneself. You. It, it gives you the freedom to do, express yourself in multiple ways and just, you know, have fun. I, I, I like that because it's like an escape, you know, you get, you know, a lot of people suffer to try to get out in the world and socialize and when you, when you get to be here and everyone's doing it, it's not that hard to get into it. Yeah. So I'm going to start out in a, what I like to call my Sith Lightning Round <laughs> where I'm going to ask you a question. One or, pick one or the other. Don't think about it. Just pick one. We're going to get to know you a little bit more by this, okay? So, Justice League or Avengers? Avengers. Sci-fi or fantasy? Fantasy. These are really hitting home, guys. <laughs> Become a Force user, Witcher, Wizard, Pokemon Trainer, Ninja, or Pirate? All the above. That's cheating! That's cheating! You 
Okay, okay. If you can make the costume, we'll let it happen. How about that? Okay. Okay. Xbox One or PS4? Uh, Xbox One. Wrong. Wrong. I've never played the other. Sorry. Wrong. <laughs> wrong. Fail. You're done. Out. I said Sega. <laughs> Sega works. Sega. Sega. <laughs> Sega works. Okay. Pick a Robin. Grayson, Todd, Drake, Brown, Wayne, or Kelly? Uh, Dick. Everyone loves Dick. Get your minds out of the gutter. I'm talking about Dick Grayson. <laughs> All right, so we're going to stop here for a moment. All right, so any tips or thoughts for those watching at home who have not maybe dipped in here and tried cosplay out for the first time? Um, start off small. Like, even everybody's first cosplay is going to be rough around the edges. So just start there. Just consider it a base and work your way to where it's to your liking. Because you can always improve it. Exactly. Yeah. Always. Any projects in the works that we can maybe get like a sneak little peek at? Like anything like that that you're working on? Uh, I would say it has to do with Disney. Well, shocker there. Oh. But because, you know, Belle, Ariel. Yeah. So, uh... Going to give us a movie, maybe, or you want to keep it a surprise? I want to I wanna keep it a little bit of a surprise, but it has to do with red. Well, you have the clues there, guys. So, <laughs> all right, guys. So, we're here at DBQCon. We're having a good time. Did you get a chance to walk around yet? I have. I have. Have you seen anybody out there who looks like they may win the big contest tonight? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, are you judging, by the way? A lot of maybes here. No solid answers. I like it. I'm cryptic. Keeping us in mystery here. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. This is Celine Loomis. Check her out. I'll put all the information down below. Uh, amazing cosplayer. Some great prints. I'm going to spend some money because I like spending money. I like being poor. So, you know, come be poor with me and support, your, support local cosplayers. Support these amazing people who have these amazing talents and bring, uh, bring our childhoods to life. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you Sith Lightning that like button, and if you're new, use the force to subscribe, and we'll see you guys later, at maybe at DBQCon day two. Bye!